If you've been spending a ton of time retouching portraits in Photoshop, I wanna show you a simple and super effective way of retouching your portraits in Lightroom so you don't have to deal with the extra confusion or extra steps of working in Photoshop. With these techniques here, you're gonna learn a surprisingly simple way to get awesome looking and professional skin adjustments with a couple of basic tools in Lightroom. Now, before we get started with the steps for skin retouching in Lightroom, if you love Lightroom presets, I have a free preset pack which includes 12 of my most popular presets in the Lightroom starter kit bundle. You can get access to that entire thing for free down in the description below. Now to retouch your portraits in Lightroom you need to do two different steps. The first is to spot remove things and the second is to use a little brush effect. We're going to first talk about removing blemishes and acne because there is a certain step in this process that's very important to keep in mind. So we'll first access the spot removal tool by clicking on it up here. It's a little banded icon up at the top. How this tool works is you basically click on one area and then Lightroom will find another similar area to replace those first pixels with. You can also click and drag like this and it will create a white line. Lightroom will then find a replacement for everything within that white line. However, when you're dealing with acne and spot blemishes like we will be in this portrait, it's often better just to do one click adjustments so that the automatic results in Lightroom just look a little bit more consistent. So zooming in, here, I'm going to resize my brush so it's a little bit larger than the spot that we want to remove. I'll then make sure that my feather is set to zero and my opacity is set to 100%. So that way we have a soft blend and it is fully visible. Now you'll notice here in the top of the brush settings, we have the clone and the heal option. And this is what's really important to remember. The clone adjustment will take an exact copy of one set of pixels and put it somewhere else where the heal will take a copy and then blend it into the new area. So when you're doing skin retouching, especially you want to make sure that the heal mode is selected so that you get the nicest, smoothest, most realistic blend with your skin retouching adjustments. So I'm going to click over the areas that I want to remove. And if you ever have an issue where it's just not quite looking right, you can click and drag that sampled area over to get a little bit more of an accurate result. So I'm gonna just move that over like so. And we're just gonna continue through retouching all of these areas. So I'm just clicking on these small spots and then anything that's a little bit larger, I'll just click and drag slightly to get a bit of a larger spot removal adjustment. And then once again, anything that just doesn't look quite right or is sampling another blemish, for example, I'll just click and drag on that sample to reposition it to something a little bit more fitting. So just repeating these basic steps until all the blemishes on your subject are removed. So I'm just gonna speed up this process so you don't need to sit with me for all of these. Now I should also mention that if you ever want to delete something that you aren't happy with, you can just click on the adjustment and press the delete key on your keyboard. From there, you can just go and re do that same adjustment as you'd like, and then just make those same adjustments just like before to make a nice realistic blend for your image. So at this point, I've gone through and I've edited all of the blemishes on my subject here. And the reason that I see all of these little dots here is because I have my tool overlay set to always. If I had it set to never, for example, all of those would not be visible, but I like to just have them all visible so I can easily click on them to access or adjust them later on if needed. So now with that complete, I'll press done. And looking at that before and after, you can see how we have a nice starting point by removing all the blemishes in the photo. Now we need to go and smooth the skin. Now typically people will use frequency separation in Photoshop, which if you're a beginner or intermediate or you just don't have the time, it's a complex process. Luckily in Lightroom, there is an easier way of doing this, which is with the adjustment brush. So clicking on our masking adjustment, going to the brush adjustment, we'll now make sure our flow is set to 100%, our density to 100%, and our feather to 100%. So that way our adjustments will be fully visible and nice and soft. Now, this is the important part. In the effect option here, we'll need to click on that and go to the soften skin adjustment. You'll notice that there's two different options here, the soften skin versus the soften skin light. The soften skin light one is just a little bit less intense than the soften skin adjustment but I'm gonna show you how to refine that yourself afterwards so it's not really a big deal which one you choose. I'm gonna click on soften skin. Now that adjusts our settings, which in this case just reduces the clarity. And that means we can go and paint over our subject's skin with that nice soft brush 
to smooth out any of the redness any of those unwanted details and things like that. So when you do this, you wanna take care not to go over any details such as like the lips or the eyes or things that you want to be sharp. Those you want to avoid with this brush adjustment, but everything else is fair game for this adjustment because it's just gonna smooth it out and fix any redness or blotchiness and things like that. So now with that quick adjustment, clicking done and looking at that before and after, look how much smoother her skin has become from our original image. Now, if you make this adjustment and you're like, wow, that is a little bit too intense for me, you can quickly adjust it by following these next steps. Clicking on your masking tool, once again, selecting the mask that you used for your skin adjustments here. You can just go to your clarity slider and just increase that because the higher the clarity value, the less intense that skin softening adjustment will be. So as you can see at zero here there's no skin softening adjustments taking place but then if I drag this down the skin gets gradually softer and softer until you're at negative 100 which is the max skin softening effect so for this photo I'm gonna just drag this up a little bit to like 85 ish and that just looks a little bit better for me I'm gonna call that a win so looking at that before and after we have successfully removed all of the blemishes and softened the skin without using any complicated tools without doing any complicated steps and to me it's just a little bit easier for photos like this where I can do it all in Lightroom and I don't have to go into Photoshop so if this helped you to save some time with your portrait editing make sure to hit that like button down below I really do appreciate it and of course if you want the 12 free presets the link is down below now, with all that said, if you are wanting to learn how to do this process in Photoshop, I have another in-depth video covering the entire process over in this video that you can find right here. Just click on that video there and you can see the entire Photoshop skin retouching process instead.